Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Chepe Mariscal versus Damon Jackson. Damon Jackson's taking this fight on a short notice. Got back in the win column against Alexander Hernandez by split. I believe he got dropped in the third round. I believe he did. Chepe Mariscal was supposed to fight Dan Ige. Dan Ige steps in very late to fight Diego Lopez. Minus 245 favorite for Mariscal. 31 years old. 5'7 with a 69 inch reach. Damon Jackson, 23, 6, and 1, 3, and 2 in his last five fights. 36 years old just of two days ago. 5'11 with a 71 inch reach. Two inch reach with a four inch height advantage for Jackson. The problem with this fight is the first round, Jackson is very, very good. As you look here, you know, he has uh, nine finishes in the first round, but he has 15 submissions, four TKO wins, but he also has four TKO losses. He, he has an issue with that. Been finished three times in the UFC out of his four losses. He's six four one and one in the UFC alone. This guy just finds ways to win. I mean, you know, Billy Q, he had a very good first round against Billy Q. Danny Gay, that's the style of fight that Damon Jackson tried to fight in that matchup. Is just you can't fight Danny Gay like that. You can't do it. Especially coming off of a win against Pat Sabatini when Sabatini was a big, big prospect. He beat Dan Argetta, Kamalea Kirk, finished him. Charles Rosa got a win after getting destroyed by Ilya Tapori in the first round. Beat Mursad Bektik by Guillotine. I mean, this guy really, really had um, it, it, it kind of laid out for him. He has a great style, but Chepin Marskal, who's like I said, 16 and 6, pretty durable. I know he's been finished three times. But he's shown a pretty good chin in the UFC. You know, Jack Jenkins got hurt. Trevor Peak, he ate a lot of punches from Peak, but did very well. Morgan Sherry, I thought Morgan won that matchup, to be honest. I thought it was pretty clear. Um, but he'd been finished by Steve Garcia. Steve's a monster. Joe Anderson Brito. Joe Anderson Brito is great. Absolutely awesome. And Gregor Gillespie finished him. He was good also when, he was, when it was his time. So, you know... The problem I have with Jackson is if he can't get that first round finish, it's it's tend tended to be hard for him. I think Chepe is the more durable guy. And I think he's not to rely on that a little bit in the first round. But after that first round, I think Chepe Mariscal wins the decision or it gets even gets a finish later in the fight when Jackson wears down a little bit. Short notice. Again, expect that first round to be absolutely bonkers. So again, if you're if you're a betting man. Plus 200 underdog for Damon Jackson. If he's going to win, it's going to be either by submission. because He has 15 of them, and it's going to be in the first round. That's that's what that is. That's what that's going to be. I have Chepi Marshall second or third round win or decision. So TKO or decision, double chance on FanDuel. I like Chepi Marshall to get this win. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Chepi, 16 and 6. I have him as winning. But yeah. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. See you at the next one. Peace.